Thank you for joining us for Ben a Minute. I'm Dina Beck. I had the recent pleasure of sitting with subject matter expert Andrew Brickman of Corporate Synergies. We talked about benefits administration challenges for HR and finance professionals. Take a look. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for talking with me today. So benefits administration is tough to keep up with, even for the most organized HR departments. How has healthcare reform impacted this function? You know, healthcare reform has made already very busy benefits departments even busier and also fraught with more risk because if they don't do it properly now, they're going to be out of compliance. Okay, so what strategies are organizations implementing to address these regulations? You know, I think of a very large transportation company we recently worked with. Um, they had a lot of uh, transportation depots around the country, a lot of part-time people. So in addition to just the day-to-day -day routine of, of benefits, they also had to worry about eligibility for their part-time population. They were actually faced with potentially 2,500 new employees coming onto their benefit plan. So their existing processes really couldn't work anymore. So what we ended up doing in this situation is we automated all their manual processes with an easy-to-use technology platform. Everything that they, that they needed to do from a transaction standpoint was able to be accommodated through the software. In addition, employees had an easy portal that they could use to enroll in their benefits. In addition, since everything was now automated, they had a platform that could support the additional volume of transactions. Okay, so it sounds like with Corporate Synergy's help, they came under compliance and accommodated newly covered employees with ease. What is the impact if they don't comply? Well, they are subject to fines and penalties if they aren't in compliance with everything from ERISA to the Department of Labor, uh, as well as everything that they require to do for health care reform. One of the nice things about putting this technology in place is that it helps with all three of those. Uh, and I'm thinking of health care reform uh, immediately. You know, by having everything in a system, they're able to easily comply with the information reporting requirements that they're needed to that they're needed to do for 2016. Okay, great. Well, thank you for your time, Andrew. You're welcome.